you very much for accepting the invitation. Can you please introduce yourself? I'm um, by Sean Sherman uh, of Liberia and of Terengano Football Club. Can you please uh, tell us how is it like to be a footballer? Well, it's, uh, it's difficult, but it has its highs and lows, uh, advantages and disadvantages. Uh, it's stressful, but you have to work hard each and every day to try and be on top of your game. But there's also a lot of advantages uh, financially. You have good benefits to support you and support your family. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the life of a, of a footballer. So, what inspired you to be a footballer? Well, I saw the talent from young uh, when I was playing a county meet in Liberia back in 2007. And uh, I felt I, I, could, I could go for my dream. And by God's grace, uh, I'm not where I, I wanted to be, but I'm happy where I am. And I thank God for the opportunity He's given me to be a blessing to a lot of people. So, um, you, like you mentioned, you played for the national team of Liberia, of your country. So, how, how is it like to play for your national team in outside? Well, it's a pride to play for your national team. Uh, it's every footballer's dream to play for a national team and every time I go to play I just want to give my 100% okay. because the national team is a lot of pressure, the fans want to win, the, the citizens want to win, so it's an added pressure but uh, once you cope with it, I think you can go out and play your, your utmost best. So uh, people actually watch you on television and you know like i want to be like passion what advice would you give to those young you know aspiring athletes or footballer coming up i will always say as i say a lot of times uh, you can have all the talent in the world but once you don't work hard and fight for what you want to do have confidence in what you want to do you can never succeed so I uh, urge anybody out there that wants to be on top of the game, football-wise or educationally-wise, anything. I just want them to study hard or work hard to be where they want to be. And that's simple. There's no extra things you need to do. You just have to work hard to be where you want to be. It is obvious that whatever you do in life, you must you know, have encounter challenge or you must face a challenge. So what are the challenges in the field of uh, the arena of football? Yeah, as I said earlier, uh, football has a lot of disadvantages. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, a lot of stress in, in, in playing football. I mean, like, uh, Keda last year, Keda is three or four million people. Terragano, I think, two million. Uh, Liberia, four or five million. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you have to give your best for a lot of the other fans, you know. You have to. So it's stressful. You, you can't... Uh, please everyone but i mean to play a top level uh, for some of these teams you have to please a lot of people so that's the disadvantage it's stressful but uh that's a that's a big challenge once you go through that challenge and be confident day to day i think you can succeed how do you feel when your fans are cheering you it's good it's a problem you know like, it's a good thing uh you know within your heart you made a lot of people happy you score a goal and you see the stadium everyone's happy uh, after the game everyone's posting reposting so there's that kind of nice feeling and i just wish i could do it a lot of times so what's your concluding statement for this interview well thanks for having me and keep on uh, the good interview and to everyone out there that's working for the goal Work hard, as I said, uh, study hard, work hard, train hard, whatever it takes to get where you want to be. Don't be complacent and go for your goal. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's how we come to the end of the exclusive interview with Kepa Shemo of the Liberia national team and also playing for Tregan. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Keep on shaman! Keep on shaman!